May you live in interesting times. There are legends that this phrase is a curse, found in ancient writings from China. Most scholars agree that this is not the case. It is first found in a 1936 newspaper account of a speech about the actions of Germany, made by a British statesman named Austin Chamberlain, about the breaking of the treaties of Locarno. They had been agreed after World War I to prevent there from ever being a World War II. Sir Chamberlain related that he had been told it was from China, but no Chinese source has been found. As with many translations, it can be hard, even for well-meaning people, to communicate accurately. It is often said that the Chinese word for crisis is made from the symbols for danger and opportunity. This also appears not to be accurate. The first character is described as being the one for dangerous. The second has multiple meanings, but in isolation means change point. I think of it as a paradigm shift. Paradigm shifts are what my friend Sebastian loves when he talks about disruptive technology. Those who look to the future love change, as they see what could be. Those who cling to the past fear change, as they see most clearly what has been lost. It is common for younger people to want to change everything, not understanding the catastrophes of the past. It is also common for the older to cling to what is familiar, even if its time has come and gone. But those who look to the future, no matter what age, do not fear change. We understand that, as Heraclitus said so many centuries ago, Nothing is constant but change. The river of time will flow past us. We can only hope to direct its path. Today we are seeing a paradigm shift in spaceflight. Usually the dreamers rail about what is possible, but don't have the means to make it so. Today one of us, someone who looks to the future, is the wealthiest man in the world. He has sold all of his expensive toys and homes and dedicated himself to the advancement of humanity into space and the colonization of a new world. History tells us that those who seek to change the world usually run into fierce opposition from those who prefer the familiar. SpaceX has not just been the first privately funded company to achieve orbit. It has shifted the paradigm of space exploration. In the past, humanity built handcrafted beautiful Lamborghinis drove them to the grocery store, and then dove out of the vehicles, leaving them to go on and crash. Elon Musk has landed and reused orbital class rockets. Nothing has shifted the limits on what is possible more than this. We are living at a change point in history. If he is successful, those further down the river of time will look back to now as a golden age, the first years of the solar diaspora. I looked this morning at an image straight from the thousands of science fiction books I've read. Two starships, shining in the sun, getting ready to launch. There are those who will try to obstruct the change, for reasons of money or pettiness, or just that they fear the coming change will leave them behind, that their expensive solutions will no longer be viable. They have reason to fear. When starship ascends, everything will change.